Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge. And oh boy, it is a challenge indeed. It's Ewoks versus Jawas and in combination with the modifiers, oh man, this is a tough one for sure. Uh, by the way, I was able to get it done. I did have to Zeta my Paplu, unfortunately. But to be honest, I was thinking to anyway get my Ewoks to gear 13 at some point because now Chirp has got an Omicron that looks quite good for uh, Grand Arena. So I was planning to get my Ewoks sorted out down the road anyway. So that Zayton Pablo won't be a total waste. Uh, by the way, as always, I cover the modifiers, the feeds, show the teams and their mods and explain some of the key mechanics uh, that I used on those guys to get max rewards uh, today. There'll be obviously YouTube chapters below as always so you can just skip through to any battle you're interested in. But now let's just kick off with the global modifier, the Dune Sandstorm for Tatooine. So uh, at the end of every turn units are inflicted with damage over time which can't be resisted. So the more turns uh, you everybody's taking the more damage over time they will stack up. So just something obviously that will be detrimental to both teams, yours and theirs. Booby traps. The modifier for Ewoks could be great, but not in this particular example, because to be honest, counter chance and extra speed is working against you, because the more time you hit Jawas, the more thermal detonators you stack on your guys. So actually, you want the opposite. You want to be slow. You don't want to be counter-attacking. You don't want to be hitting Jawas. So it's really not a boost to the team at all. It actually adds detrimental effect to your guys. Obviously, stunning when they attack out of turn is kind of nice, but again, Javas don't have a whole lot of attacks out of turn, so you won't really get the chance to get that many stuns out there at all. So Modifier, it's not that it's not helping us at all today, it's actually working against us. Thanks, CG. Anyway, uh, Javas on the other hand, oh boy, man. <sighs> Java modifier is, is really, really, really crazy. Like Ewoks, you've got no healing immunity on your squad, so you cannot stop their uh, protection recovery, right? Because every time thermal detonator uh, explodes, Jawas are recovering 100% protection. So without healing immunity, they'll keep recovering health. So the only way you can actually win this is if you outlast them and you allow damage over times uh, to finish off these Jawas. That's why you want your Ewoks, which I'll show later mods, to be very slow. Try to avoid uh, attacking Jawas as much as you can and let the Dune Sandstorm take care of these uh, Jawas. All right, let's look at the feats now as well. Obviously, it's an Ewok challenge, so we do have to win with a full team of Ewok units. Obviously, you have to complete the battle and then you have to uh, win after attacking out of turn 20 or more times. You think, oh, attacks out of turn, Ewoks can get this done easy. Well, if you go for the attacks out of turn with Ewoks, they will be eaten alive uh, by all those thermal detonators. So uh, I'll be using a different team for attack out of turn and same things for the unguarded where you have to win without tanks in your squad. Again, you need Paplu in there to win and he's a tank, so you will have to use another squad uh, for these two final feats. Now as you can see my Ewoks here, they are gear 12 because uh, I did gear them up all the way back for Chewbacca event to unlock Chewbacca uh, and as mentioned before I did put a Zeta on Paplu uh, because you know he is the key piece here really and I'm actually not going with Chirpa lead here uh, because with Chirpa lead you get extra these attacks out of turn and things like that and remember the more attacks more thermal detonators you will stack in your guys. So instead, I don't want those assists, I don't want any of that, I just want uh, these guys to survive as long as they can, so that then damage over time, then start killing off Jawas. So this is the whole strategy here, make your guys as slow as possible, and then in terms of modding, just stack them with defense, uh, stack them with uh, protection, right? Because thermal detonator and then damage over time that you'll be stacking uh, as well, uh, they be deal damage based on health. So if you have low health, high protection pool, you'll be able to, you know, endure for a couple of turns here while Javas will be uh, killing themselves there from damage over time. So you can see Paplu very slow, lots of protection. You have to slap a Zeta on him as mentioned before, also showing you his armor. And with his Zeta, uh, whenever Paplu gains a status, a status effect, he will recover 5% health and protection. Now status effect, from what I understand, is a buff or a debuff. So every time he gets damage over time, he's recovering health and protection. Every time he gets stacked 
of uh, thermal detonator is recovering health and protection. So this will allow you a little bit to offset all of those thermal detonators and damage over times. So it's all about Paplu outlasting the Jawas basically. Up next, you got a Wicked, similar thing, as slow as possible, as much protection as I could slap on him, really, to be honest. So he can survive long enough. Again, not using Chirpa's lead. I don't want those extra attacks from Chirpa's lead. Again, slow, as much protection as I could. Uh, Logray, same thing. Slow, as much as protection I could, I could throw on him. Uh, and you know, so they can survive long enough, hopefully. Now his basic uh, worth mentioning, uh, when he attacks out of turn, he will grant tenacity up to your Ewoks, so then you can get tenacity up uh, on your uh, Paplu, so then maybe he can resist the healing immunity from Scavenger. Elder, same thing, slow, lots of protection, well, as much as I could. So this is really pretty much straightforward strategy here. Now I hope in a battle, uh, there you go, you have to be slow, let just Jawas do what they do, uh, let them keep taking turns and damage over time start working uh, here for you. I don't want to do an AoE here with Wicked. Because remember, the more Javas we hit, more Thermals we get. Uh, no mass assists. And here I will call now um, Logray to assist to get Tenacity up over on Paplu. And again, try to avoid attacks. Let's get some Foresight and things like that. So we can again sustain a little bit longer here. I'm just going to not, not attack anybody. I'm just going to use their, you know, waste revivability from uh, Evo Calder. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see, Pablo here is tanking like a champ uh, with that Zeta. He keeps recovering health and protection. Uh, so as long as he can outlast uh, Jawas, you should be good to go. All right, there we go. I lost the Elder there. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. Again, no mass, ass mass assists here with Chirpa. Just basics. Perfect. There goes Wicked. Alright, how are we looking? So there we go, Java's already stacking a lot of damage over times on them. Alright, here comes, here they come. Um, I know things are not looking great, but you will see, Java's will start fall, dropping left and right quickly now. There we go, there goes Java number one, Java number two, Java number three, Java number four, and now just uh, 1v1 with Paplu and OG Java, and down goes the last Java. Uh, that's it guys, uh, that's how I was able here on tier 10 uh, to get the Ewok battle done with gear 12 Ewoks, but I did have to obviously uh, sacrifice Zeta on Paplu, but again, as mentioned before, that's okay, I'm planning to get my Ewoks up and running at some point anyway and slap an Omicron on Chirpa, so, you know, no Zeta wasted for me, personally. Alright, so we got Ewok battle out of the way, now we do have to get those attacks out of turn done, um, as well as no tank squad, and here, I mean, probably there are a lot of options. Uh, I just decided to do something a little bit more fun. Going with OG Kylo Ren lead here with then Chewbacca, Han and 3PO for assists and Watambor as well. Uh, so let me show you now their mods. I didn't really mod these guys. This is the mods I have on these guys at all times. Um, now the key here obviously is the unstoppable unique from Kylo Ren Mass because he takes reduced damage from all of these damage over times thermal detonators. So won't do anything at all to him. If anything, it will boost his offense, defense, it will boost his speed as well, all those debuffs and all the damage he's taking. So, you know, he'll be pretty juiced up here, Kylo. Uh -huh. As it says in the name, right? Unstoppable. Um, now, in terms of the other abilities, obviously, um, depending whether you have Zeta on Kylo Special, I would imagine most of us do, uh, he can keep recovering uh, protection. So that's how he'll be able to, you know, keep uh, staying alive. Then his AoE, he will keep granting himself retribution, so he can then counter-attack on Jawas. In terms of mods, again, I didn't remod at all. Um, so you can see, I just get some speed on this guy, and that's it, really. Uh, Chewbacca here, he's obviously for his loyal friend unique, so he'll put guard uh, on Han, and in my case, also on Kylo Ren, because Kylo Ren is the squishiest from all of these guys I'll be using. And whenever these guys attack, Chewbacca is called to an assist, and that's where a one part of attacks out of turn will come. Han shoots first, obviously, you know, he does what he does. Then 3PO here as well is for extra assist, because whenever a rebel deals damage, 3PO with his unique will be called to assist more attacks out of turn. Watsonbor, he's here for two things, tech, so he can put uh, tank tech over on Kaloran, so Kaloran can then dispel healing immunity from himself when he gets a turn. And then also, uh, whenever an ally with tank on them uses a special ability, Watsonbor is called to an assist again, attacks out of turn. So plenty of attacks out of turn, plenty of survivability on this squad, 
and it's gonna be the same thing like in battle one Kylo Ren simply outlasting all the Jawas by himself there we go just stand a bit why not uh, then put a tank tech over on OG Kylo so he can keep you know dispelling uh, the healing immunity if he gets stuck on him here they come there we go getting some attacks out of turn already and I see there we go every time Kylo uses his AoE both Chewbacca's at call to assist as well as Watt so we we're getting plenty of attacks out of turn there just basics no AoE's right because you know the more damage you do the more thermal detonators we get on our guys let's just keep spamming AoE's here keep getting those attacks out of turn from both Chewbacca's and Watt whenever you use AoE there um, you know probably all the rest of these guys whenever it to take a turn they will die off now at this point anyway so it's all gonna be down to unstoppable Kylo Ren here the OG Kylo <laughs> soloing Jawas here oh boy a good thing about it as well uh, when Kylo does uh, counter attack you know his basic can land a healing immunity so there you go we land a healing immunity on Ebit so he can't heal up uh, so you know this will help you a little bit as well to take these Jawas out faster as you can see they started dying off now already it doesn't really matter all right here they come there you go see they landed healing immunity on Kylo but you know because of tank tech he was able to dispel that and all the jealous are down and that's it that's how I got here tier 10 done all the feats with two teams obviously the first one a little bit required her a Zeta on Paplu but as mentioned before not an issue for me personally and then here for these attacks out of turn I'm pretty sure you've got lots of options to do I just thought to do something fun just to have some fun a little bit here or well, guys hope this video was useful helpful and maybe fun as well showing you how I got the max rewards this time thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one but until then have fun enjoy life and may the RNG be with you my friends